Hi. What I'm doing now is showing you um, the residue that's left on the walls after the scraping and the steaming. So it's not very easy to see in the video, but the walls have been scraped. And if you can get a sense of scale, see as soon as I wet it, you can see the uneven patches. So that's still quite, I don't know how to get that off. But you can see the residue of calcimine paint gets dark with the addition of water. Um, so essentially I'm just washing these residue parts here, as you can see. And it kind of creates like a dull slurry. And then it's very easy to just wipe it off. Here we go. And I'll rinse this sponge out. It's a very dry sponge. I'll rinse it out a couple of times. And what I should be left with is a very nice dust-free original plaster coat. Now what you might notice is that there's, the cracks are very visible. So it's still a question for me, uh, trial and error, as to whether the paint will be enough to fill in those cracks. I've got to do some research on that. I certainly don't have the time or resources to skin coat the whole walls. I mean, they've been so labour intensive so far. So what I'm looking for is a breathable sealer of some sort. And I'm thinking if I look within the earth and clay paint kind of industry, I should be able to find some kind of sealer that's compatible with a lime paint. Okay. As I've already said, I haven't had any I haven't had any uh, luck from Porter's technical department. They just cannot advise as to whether their lime paint is breathable or not. In which case I take it that they have um, changed the formula now that they're owned by Dulux. It's no longer a, a clearly lime paint. So the sealer that they sell to use with the, um, the their so-called lime wash, I doubt very much that it would be breathable. So I'm still looking into that, but I'm looking into alternatives as well. The question I have is how to how to paint hardwall plaster, which is basically what I've got here.